My name is Casey Velasquez. I am the tribal chairman for the White Mount Apache tribe located on the Fort Apache Indian Reservation in Northern Arizona. Welcome to our beautiful home. Our home consists of 1.6 million acres filled with precious resources comprising of our water, lakes, streams, trees, habitats, and our wildlife. My constituents are resilient Apache people with a beautiful culture, tradition, prayers, songs, and food. I am proud to be the tribal leader of the White Mountain Apache tribe. One of the special things with our tribe is our trophy elk hunting program. The White Mountain Apache tribe for years and continues to be recognized as the elk capital of the world. We are home of Trophy Elk. I wanna thank the Hushin crew for joining us this year, 2023. As you will see on this video, the White Mountain Apache tribe is one of the gorgeous places in the world. So sit back and enjoy. Aheya, thank you. Hello. <laughs> ตาลิจิทูอะจีนุฟีหินเดดันจีนีนุฟาดิเนะนิสเตโกอะนุฟิสิตีทูฮิดะจีนตีนุตีนุฟิคิยาฮิดะสะอันเกโกนุฟีป
that's JT, and then this is Sisto. He's our guide. So. Hey, I'm Sisto Hernandez. I'm a guide here at White Mountain. Been doing this for about 21 seasons, and um, I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, <laughs> I won't put myself over or anything. We'll just wait till you see what's at the skinning rack, and then then you can decide. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. So uh, we're uh, this is our team. We got Maddie Ice behind the camera. We got JT. We got Sisto, and uh, I told him the the goal behind this hunt is let's just go have fun. Uh, the bulls have been ripping all night. Feeling pretty good about. Hopefully showing you guys a lot of cool elk footage. So let's go. Let's go, All baby. Right. It's getting light. Cool. All right, guys. We, um, I mean, there's bulls screaming everywhere. This is crazy. We, um, Sisto, JT, and I went out last night and did some scouting. We found a really cool five point, a couple cows, saw some other elk. And then, um, we got back and, one of the other guides had seen another five point. And so we are going to uh, go after that one to touch heavier. But the cool thing is we've seen a lot of amongst a group of guys. It's been a good amount of management bulls being spotted and stuff. So I feel like we're in elk paradise, man. Yeah, there's just, there's a lot of vocal activity. So I'm, I'm super excited to get this thing going and have light shine upon us and just see what's out here. We barely got like a little bit of uh, a taste of it last night. It's a pretty special place. I can't see that the road is in the way. Maybe not. That's a sweet bull. Mm -hmm. Dude, look, look at this. Look at this. All right, so we're just trying to kind of cover numbers this morning. Sisto mentioned it earlier, but you're just like literally picking through so many different elk looking for a management bull. So uh, we got a call from Wayne. He said he picked up one, the one we were looking for. It was just in a slightly different spot that we didn't see this morning. So we're going to make a run back and uh, see if we can get some eyes on a possible management bull. Let's see if we can turn him up. Go. This morning. So one went in the tree line, but he had a scoreable point. But that one, I think that's the one you're looking for. The one standing out there? Yeah. So that side looks like it has uh... So the only way we c I can tell you is you guys are going to have to book it across. He's going to go up in that, because you got that that curve right there. Yeah. Just on that. If you book it across and go over the top right here, you should be able to catch him on that other I'll side. Catch this tree line right here. Huh? Yeah. Get a good look at him when you get over there, though. That's when he, that's when he had behind us and that one, like they'd been coming out this side. So we, if we can get it done, we will. If not, we'll just leave him alone because he's going to come out again tonight, you know.
going to go very far. They just ran up and they brushed up right here. I feel a lot better about just leaving them alone because they're going to come down here again this evening. And the way this hill is, it's uh, like you've seen from the road, it's not too far to the other side. Yeah. Yeah. And so if we uh, if we bust these guys, we got a chance of pushing them across the road, pushing them some damn wares that, that we're not going to see that bull again. Mm -hmm. And if he's, uh, this is his habit. He comes up to this tank or to that other tank every evening and then let's just leave him. God damn, it's just right. You think that's a five point? I think that's at six point. See that? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see him. He's yeah, walking right to left. Yeah. 12 o'clock. So that's that six pointer, huh? Yeah. Okay. Leave him to his pattern. And we can go to a different spot and go farther around and who knows, maybe turn up something, end up shooting something else. <laughs> well, that bull is freaking sick. I don't know how you guys feel, but big, mature five points are pretty amazing. And you don't see a lot of them. At least we haven't in the tags we've hunted over the years. But even just like, we saw a sweet one last night, freaking killer one this morning. And a lot of the other fellows have been seeing some good manageable bulls. So it's reinforcing why they put this hunt in place again this year. Because there's been no shortage of them. And just, again, like an, a quick evening glass. And it's 6.20 this morning. And, I mean, yeah, my mind is blown. This place is pretty magical. There it is. Yeah. Damn, I just <laughs> hits, dude. <laughs> I kind of like this one better. Yep. He's got bigger. Dude, look at him. Uh, I'm going to go get a couple reps in. I got a cool little archery range set up down there. And um, it's it's pretty early. We're back here pretty early. But I mean, we found two bulls that we would shoot today. I can't even count the number of bugles that we heard, the number of elk that we saw. But it was significant. Anyways, both the, the two five points that were super cool, both had cows, both pushed into the timber. This is, again is a bit of a unique situation. We don't have a lot of other pressure from outside folks hunting. And because everybody's working together, the other hunters that have the management tag are in different zones. And so basically there's there was no need to go kind of chase after him and possibly bump him. We decided to make the decision to let them go do their thing. They're still fairly patternable right now. The rut is just starting to crank off. And our, our goal will be to go back this afternoon and kind of wait them out and try to intercept them as they come back out to kind of feed. So they all went up and bedded, brushed up is what the guys call it, which I like. Uh, it's about 3 p.m. in the afternoon. We just hiking into where we had left that big, beautiful five point and his cows. They're bedded back up in here somewhere. So kind of our play is, uh, it's kind of like a little bit stormy, not terrible, but definitely cloudy, kind of some weird winds. We're hoping that bull will start bugling here shortly. We're going to try to just like sneak in on them through these trees before they get out in this open grass. See if we can get a play on him. But he's a freaking stud management bull. Really big whale tails. Like about as beautiful as a five point as you're going to ever find. So crossing my fingers that we get an opportunity to at least get close to him. We got some distance footage from this morning and hopefully we'll get some up close footage from this evening. Maybe we'll get a chance to shoot an air item but man pretty awesome first day this place is incredible and excited to see what the future holds here for us
109 was the closest, closest I got. Yeah. Would have been easy money with a raffle. Yeah, all day long. Right. Said, when you have to come over there. <laughs> He's still bugling. They didn't blow out of here. They just went over the hill. No. Here in the morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're, in our experience, man, when they're barking like that, they're just like, where are you? I hear you. If you're making noise, where are you? And they don't see you, and they start. Bolt's pretty sweet. We just got to figure out a way to beat him back in here. Pretty amazing first day, if I don't say so myself. Uh, definitely found us a shooter. That bull is so beautiful, man. That footage, I hope you guys appreciated how how cool that was with that footage Matt got. So tomorrow's a new day. We're gonna try to go make a play on this bull again. I mean, he's as good as it gets when it comes to a management five point. He's big, he's mature, he's freaking got everything you'd hope for. So uh, anyways, I'm gonna head back and grab some dinner and maybe uh, get a little bit more rest this evening. Now that the anticipation of the first day is over with, but man, uh, I'm excited to see what the rest of this trip's got in front of us. We've got uh, five more full days of hunting. And with any luck, it's just going to keep getting better. Getting ready to head out for day two. We are going to go try to make a play again at that five. See if we can turn him up this morning at first light and then go try to make a play on him. Uh, maybe come in from a different angle depending on where he's at. But last night was pretty incredible. 109 yards from him and 104 from his cows. Just couldn't close the distance. No more cover, so it turned into a big open country. And today's a new day. Can't wait to get out there and see if we can turn him up and get even closer. I don't. Um, well, no, it changed a little. <laughs> when I, we got out of the truck, it was going like right oh, that direction. Yeah. yeah. So I was wanting to follow the tree line just to, to make it a little less difficult. I'm thinking that it might be all right right now in the dark to just yeah, follow the road track. and then get back around where they're gonna come back into the trees. Sure. And very grateful for Onyx to be like, oh yeah, there's the map. Yeah, we kind of snuck in here in the dark and uh, saw a bull with some cows. We weren't sure if it was the five point or not. It turns out it was a a younger six point that we had seen yesterday morning. So we are uh, in search of the five. We heard another bull bugle behind us and that could be it. So keep searching around, it's still super early. It's only 5.42.
Well, the test part doesn't really matter because like there'll be some big boots like uh, like a little metal, a little test, yeah. like a like a unicorn with a magic. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. 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 Yeah much denser through here and kind of changing up the tactics because visually you can't see very far in this part of the unit so going to do a little bit more sound checking uh, just ran into a cool younger bull down on the way up here that was giving us a bit of a show he, uh, he'll be an up and comer for probably their trophy class program in the next three or four years Sisto figured he was probably five years old and maybe like about a 340 type uh, frame. They're looking for Boone and Crockett style for their trophy class program and uh, eight plus year old age range. So this stuff would be a little bit more challenging trying to find like a management bull just because you'll have to get you know pretty close and can't see super far away. So pretty cool because from an archery standpoint up here you know definitely going to see him in archery range. Be a matter of will you have like a shooting lane in some of this dense thicket. Well, this afternoon we are trying to turn up that big five point. We could not turn him up this morning. Saw a couple of young six points. Uh, probably been out here an hour glassing and some cows just stepped out pretty close to where we were yesterday. So the question is, is it going to be the big five or the six point? You like pretty, that? pretty good group of cows. About four. <laughs> So far it's a uh, six point that we bumped into this morning, but way more cows are with him. There's more elk coming out of the timber too. My suspicion is that five point's gotta be close. It's kind of his zone where we've seen him the last few days. So uh, clearly a few micro herds kind of came together. There's probably 30, 40 cows out there right now. A few spikes and then one six point so we'll see if this five point materializes or if we're gonna have to move and try to see if we can find him somewhere else. Uh, no shortage of incredible elk action this evening. Got a little storm pushing in, temperatures seem to drop quite a good amount in the last couple hours. And uh, we're seeing just a ton of elk, a lot of bulls. But uh, again, for this management hunt, it's got to be a five point that's older, more mature. Um, or it could be a six point with dual palmation above like the Royals predominantly is what they're looking for. Um, and everything we're seeing is just younger, like up and coming six points um, so far this evening. But it's been really fun. Ton of bugling, a lot of cows. Feel like uh, you know, again, every day is just going to get a little bit better as the the elk are starting to really come into the rut. Had some bulls chasing each other. Um, just a lot of bugle action. I mean, it's everything you would ever dream of. So it's been fun, but we still uh, still on the hunt for the five points. So 
we're about out of daylight for the evening. So the search will continue in the morning. Hopefully we can relocate them, slide in there and get a chance at them. Morning guys. Yeah, just getting our stuff ready to go. A little rainy this morning, but there's a, there's bulls bugling right from our camp. We're gonna go try maybe to check off a few other areas that this bull could have moved into and see what we come up with. But feels like September is fu fully kind of setting in. The rut is, uh, man, kind of here last night was awesome with all the activity we saw. And so far just walking back and forth to breakfast, heard a good amount of bugle. So gonna be a fun day, let's go. Pretty nice uh, young heavy six point. There's another bull that he's uh, he's been chasing. We haven't seen yet. That's a different one. That one's all right. Yeah, it's pretty solid, huh? Yeah. stick out about the same distance as that other bulls did they but they up. hook up a little farther yeah. so like where that other bull had like 12 inch eye guards this guy's probably got like 14 so that bull right there is probably like gross mid 350s because the eye guards are probably all about instead of 12 they're probably like 14 mm -hmm. and the thirds are like well, the third is like 14 or 15. But look at him, he's got better than a 40 inch spread. Especially for what we were doing with archery. 
Well, it's just after nine o'clock. We've been uh, bouncing around, chasing lots of bugles today. Hope you guys have enjoyed uh, some of these early morning clips. Today was, I'd say, probably the ruddiest yet bulls have been. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think so. And it's just beginning. Give it like another five days and it's gonna, like this yeah. is gonna seem mellow. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's, this place is wild, man. I'm telling you, like the amount of elk here, the amount of bulls we're picking through, um, the landscape, the scenery, like look how pretty this is. Just about, like all these ferns are starting to turn, fall colors, got a mixture of pines and these aspens and man, if I was to visualize where I would love to shoot an elk, it'd probably be somewhere about the top of the list about as far as like the scenery goes. Oh my God. That thing is so heavy. Have you got a weight on the thing? Okay. So this is a uh, Wayne, come over here. Let's tell the people what what this is, what this represents. So this is a White Mountain Apache bull, and it was a special tag, right? Yeah, basically we'll call it a special tag that they created. Uh, basically, starting this year, um, there's a unit down low that they've uh, sectioned off on the tribe, and uh, it's a uh, invitation only type tag that they all bid on, and basically this is what they produce. Um, this is part of one of the hunts that we have on the reservation and again just to show you the representation of across the reservation of the type of bulls we take I mean you've seen what we get as far as sunrise but you know it's not the only place that uh, you're gonna find stuff like this it's just this is a this is a tank absolute tank so we've uh, obviously we were hunting the management hunt right and we got to see that big 427 bull which is a tribal member that got that and then this is, I mean, it's not official scored or anything, but it's somewhere around 450. Um, so crazy conservation. <laughs> and just like a lot of varying components of the type of elk that are out here. I just, man, I'm at a loss. I've never seen an elk anything like this before. Split G2. I mean, it's got so much, like this crazy, crazy point off the front, this split G2, these. The mass on that third. Look at the look at the palmation right here. How wide that is. Like everything on this bowl is just absolutely massive. We looked at the score sheet. I think one side was 23, the other side was 25. This was 58. Matt, come and hold this thing. You gotta you gotta feel it. Hey, what's JJ? What's the score on this one? This one side it was over 200. I thought I what saw a 29. The hell, dude. <laughs> Holy. That's got to be like 50 or 60 pounds. Right? At least, dude. Is that the craziest thing you ever seen? Okay, I'm going to get a turn for you guys. Got to lift with my legs here. Yeah, you throw your back out. Oh, my gosh. Can't even hold this thing up, dude. Oh. <laughs> so this one side scores 228, just that side. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude. That is freaking wild. Well, we're uh, out for the afternoon. It's been raining the last couple hours, but just shy of four o'clock, and uh, a lot of elk are out in this rain. We finally just relocated that five point we've been looking for the last day and a half. He's out all by himself feeding.
trying to get him inside like 60 yards, right? And yeah, yeah. Is the goal. Yeah. Um, I guess once we get a little closer, if the topography or the situation presents itself, I could try to just rig a ninja crawl out there. Okay. If it's, if he's still feeding kind of faced away. Okay. That doesn't seem to make sense because yeah, too many other elk can see us or whatever. Yeah. Then I don't know, we could try to drop back okay. and make some call noises and see if it pulls them at all closer. Yeah. My other theory is once those elk get up and the main bull starts getting more ruddy and whatnot, then might. maybe they'll yeah. kind of be running around like other bulls were pushing cows yeah. and yeah. each other. Can you get to this spruce tree? Okay. Just go that way. Uh, yep. Yeah. Because he's feeding back towards us, that might be our, our shop right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm this back. No. Mm
Oh my god, that was awesome. I had a good view, and then right where he stepped, like right where he stepped, where uh, where you had the shot, I couldn't see him again. But it's like, well, it must be it must be a good one <laughs> because I was watching him like. Dude, he just yeah. he had that 92 yep. bedded forever. Yep, yep. like 30 like minutes. That's what it was. 30 like minutes. I kept seven, <laughs> yeah. and like 68, and like 63, 62. And then man, he just like I wasn't sure if I was gonna draw back because he could see me. And I yep. think he was yep. around 40. Yeah, that's what I shot him for. <laughs> that's what I figured. Like when he got to right here. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, good work, guys. Good work, boys. You bet, man. Oh, I felt I felt shot felt pretty good, but yeah. Mm. Well, let's give him some time. This, guys, this place is the most incredible place I've ever stepped foot in elk hunting in the whole world. I feel super, uh, super grateful to be here. Just uh, hopefully we can have a good recovery. There's blood here. Good work, boys. <laughs> Good job, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> you bet, dude. You bet. <laughs> no problem. That's jam up management ball. What a relief. What a relief. What a ball. Perfect shot. Amazing animals. Golly. Talk about dream five point, right? <laughs> Look at that thing. Golly. <laughs> Oh, so we got the guys. We we uh, we don't have any shortage of help today, which is uh, it was helpful because the blood trail wasn't much to be honest. Like between the rain and the conditions, we tracked his tracks predominantly, and JT turned them up. I used this uh, feature on Onyx where you can set a radius of like 200 yards, and on the footage we figured it was a pretty good shot. He ducked it a little bit, but generally, in our experience, a double long hit will go tops around 200 in most cases. Sure enough, we were like maybe 210, and um, he actually kind of came uphill 
these things are tough, tough critters, and their will to survive is pretty, pretty incredible. But he's a gorgeous bull. Like, talk about a dream management bull. You could, could not ask for anything more. So, we got the whole crew here to help out, which has been helpful moving him around. We're gonna take a few photos, get him, start getting him worked up, get him down to, get him down to the truck. What a night! What a hunt! Man, hard to believe. It all worked out the way it did, man. Couldn't be more appreciative of this opportunity uh, and all the amazing people we've met here at the White Mountain Apache Reservation. Uh, the hospitality has been incredible. It's truly the greatest place in the world when it comes to elk hunting. I mean, what we've seen in the last couple of days is blowing my mind. Um, just a really special moment, and what a way to top it off. Couldn't have dreamed of it working out any better, to be honest with you. Congratulations, Dr. Google. Thanks, buddy. Give me a hug, Gabe. Thanks for all the time. That's a wonderful time here. You're doing better than that, man. Right? Awesome, man. Awesome, man. Awesome, man. Awesome. 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 Green five points.